Gia Park for Premier Sports live coverage of the Leinster Schools Senior Cup. Today we kick off our coverage with one of the most intense rivalries in modern schools rugby. It's that of Blackrock College versus St. Michael's. Both sides will fancy their chances of reaching the quarterfinals and kickoff is coming up in just under 10 minutes time. And I'm and delighted to be joined once again this season by Bernard Jackman. Birch, it's been a strange two years, but good to be back at the Schools Rugby. Brilliant to be back. And what a game to get us started this morning. Twelve, or five and a half thousand people here, Blackrock against Michaels. All the smart students in the game say these are the two best teams in the competition. And typically they draw each other in the, in the first round. So we should have a great game in front of us. Yeah, as you said, we're covering all eight games here on Premier Sports. But this is the game that everybody's talking about. Probably the two pre-season favourites in St. Michael's and Blackrock. How do you see this game unfolding? Look, I think it's going to be incredibly tight. I saw the friendly game earlier on the year between Blackrock and Michaels. Played in UCD, which Blackrock run narrowly. Gonzaga beat Michaels a couple of weeks ago, but I think Michaels are, are there, thereabouts, very strong. A lot of representative players in both teams, so it's probably who deals with the nerves. These guys haven't played in front of a crowd for a long time. There's huge hype and expectation, so it's probably who keeps their head the best, has the best chance of winning. And speaking of uh, players and representatives, I mean, who are the key players from a St. Michael's point of view that you'll be watching out for, for yeah, today? Yeah, from St. Michael's point of view, I think the number nine, Fintan Gunn, has been long touted as someone who could be a professional rugby player. He's not the captain, but everything runs through him. As Standing passer, breaker, game manager, and our number eight, um, the number eight Matthew Victory, the real athletic, powerful ball carrier. So they're the two guys from the Michael side that I'd be, I'd be keeping an eye on. And equally so from Black Rock, you know, they are favourites coming into this, but only slightly so. Who, what players are they going to be uh, I really like their hooker, Gus McCarthy. He's been the captain of the Junior Cup team. He's captain today, real good leader, real solid set-piece player. And uh, the full-back, Ruben Maloney, was an outstanding soccer for, player for St. Joey's. Um, really good footballer, lots of pace, so Michael's has to be careful to kick loose to him. Well, as Bernard said, there's 5,500 people coming here to Energia Park for this game today. The stage is set. Join us after the break for live coverage of Blackrock versus St. Michael's. revolution happening a different way to sell your home all across the country people are discovering how it feels when you sell your home for free really truly free with over a billion pounds of property sold in the last year we're rated excellent from over 15,000 reviews on Trustpilot find out how you can sell your home for free at strike.co.uk strike feel free this is your home this is your lounge slash gym. The guest bedroom slash music studio. The day bed slash dog bed. The living room slash yoga shanty slash regional office. Slash classroom. And this is the cellar slash panic room. Maybe what your family needs is a holiday home slash holiday home. Find yours on the Verbo app. New Nivea Energy Micellar Water with vitamin C and niacinamide. Leaves skin feeling energised and effectively removes makeup. Try new Nivea Energy Micellar Water. Refreshing Italian taste of Peroni Nastro Azzurro. That's full of life. Peroni Italia. Welcome back to the opening game of this year's Bank of Ireland Leinster School Senior Cup. In this, the 135th year of the competition. And it's great to see all of the fans and supporters 
back here in Energy Park after a strange couple of years. Blackrock have Leinster under 19, Zach Quirk at out half, alongside Leinster under 18 representative Oliver Coppy. There's strength in the centre too, with another Leinster pairing of Luke Kritzinger and Hugh Cooney. While up front, captain Gus McCarthy at hooker leads a pack containing Michael Colravy and Alex Mullen in the second row, and a strong back row of Maloney, Brig and Kevin Jackson. St. Michael's, for their part, do have their own share of Leinster representatives throughout the squad. With Tom Stewart, Zach Baird, the brother of Ryan Baird, Dave Woods, vice-captain, Dan Carroll, Luca Hassett and James Nicholson, to name just a few. They're coached by Emmett McMahon and his team. Well, I'm joined here in commentary today by Bernard Jackman, who knows both of these teams well. Birch, it's been uh, a strange couple of years, as we said earlier, but it's great to be back. And these teams, you know, we, we may not know the faces after two years of a break, but certainly you've been watching them. Who are the people we're really going to see and watch out for today? Uh, look, I think the cream of the, the crop in terms of young talent in, in Leinster schools are, are playing here. Um, both, both teams are stacked with, with representative players, both Leinster under-18s and under-19s, but um, we haven't had a chance to see them in the, in the, uh, in the flesh. You know, we saw some of these Michaels team, team um, in the Senior Cup or semi-final for two years ago. Um, and Blackrock obviously gone out to Gonzaga in the same round, but uh, there's a lot of fresh faces, and you know, speaking to both sets of coaches, they, they have so much hope for the potential of these players, and just hoping that they can get through today. I mean, what a what a first game to go from playing in front of, you know, um, you're playing training games or, and, and, and COVID, not being, fans not be allowed to go to games, to your first game in front of five and a half thousand people in Donnybrook on a, on a Sunday after a Six Nations weekend uh, match. So, um, really looking forward to this. And both of these teams met pre-Christmas uh, in an interesting game and Blackrock just came out on top there, 20 points to 14, but there have been improvements in the Michael side since then. Yeah, look, both, both teams would have had a lot of disruptions with injury and COVID, and that was a big thing, I think, the, you know, because last year was so staggered in terms of preparation, there was a lot of injuries early on in the year as they got back into to playing games and, and training. So definitely a lot of disruptions. They would have had to go deep in their, in their squads, and it was interesting watching both warm-ups. There was about 35 players from, from both teams here being part of this. And, uh, um, yeah, Michael seemed to have got a little bit of a break in the last couple of weeks because got a few players back. I was at a, a training game they had against Newbridge and they looked really impressive but Blackrock's results in the friendlies were, have been outstanding and um, you know a lot of people say that they're the, they're the team to beat. Certainly uh, players to watch as well uh, for Blackrock Oliver Coffey, uh, Leinster under 18 and uh, Zach Quirk as well vice captain on the Blackrock team at out half. There are two players of, of, of note. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, and I think the second row battle is going to be really interesting. Both Black Rock's second rows, Alex Mullen and Michael Cor Corlevy, are both Leinster under 18s, and Leinster, uh, Michael Stan Barron and Dave Woods are Leinster under 19s. So the lineout should be, you know, be really interesting. It's about finding space, and um, you know, I think MF Ban is the is the is the lineup specialist coaching St. Michael's. Seamus Toomey's the forwards coach for for Black Rock, so I'm sure they're going to have done a lot of analysis and looking trying to find good options for the hookers. Blackrock make their way out onto the pitch led by captain Gus McCarthy. Some nerves on the players' faces as they go down in front of their supporters and present themselves to that. And this is all of the colour that you get in these schools matches. supporters going crazy on the left hand side welcoming their team to the pitch it's a great occasion that moment when you in school's rugby when you get to go before the whole school and get ready for this game uh, it's incredible I remember it was the first year of boarding in Newbridge College being cut up on the bus to watch watch the senior cup team play and, and you just want to be part of it and then obviously if, you get, if you're lucky enough to get the chance to, to represent your school at the time it seems like the biggest thing in the world you know we know now there's lots there's lots of things after it but it's huge excitement and for the families and parents it's such a big day for them to for if their sons are lucky enough to to get the chance so hopefully everyone ha has, a, has a good game and it's a real positive uh, experience for everybody and smiles on the faces of the St. Michael's players too as they make their way out Finton Gunn and Charlie McNamee 
Sam Berman, the Michaels captain, bringing his team in for one last chat before the game kicks off. The excitement is building, there's flares, there's colour everywhere. The noise is deafening here. It's hard to hear yourself up in the commentary box. But we're I mean, in for I'm a hell of a game. Today's referee is Dermot Blake for this game. He'll be ably assisted by assistant referees Katie Byrne and Tom Colton. Black Rock have the kickoff in this game as Charlie McNamee. And thank your partner, Zach Burke. Lines this one up. Black Rock playing from left to right. And we're underway. That one going long. It's dealt with well by Hassett, but the pressure is there straight away from Black Rock. Coming in. But illegally so, says referee Blake. Hands in at the rook. Real intent in that kickoff from Blackrock with the chase, though, Birch. Yeah, it's an excellent kick from from Cork, and, and a super chase. But I thought Luca Hassett did brilliantly, just to, to buy a little bit of time for support players to get there. And in fairness to Blackrock, they're so up for it, they've piled in counter rook like we saw okay, France do a lot to Ireland yesterday. But unfortunately, just in the infringed, and we see the big hit there from Five. Luke Hugh Cooney. He jumps out of the line. Blackrock looked like they've got good body position there, but I think they used hands in the rook when it should have just probably powered through. First line out here now for Zach Bird. He'll want to get this one right. It's thrown and it's contested well by Blackrock. Knocked back, taken forward. So a big turnover that for Blackrock. It's taken forward now by Victory, one of the vice captains. Jackson just penalised there for holding on. Again, referee Blake is on the case straight away. Yeah, great pressure in the lineup from from Black Rock. We see the ball drops down to Max Holmes. He's a really powerful, uh, powerful ball carrier. But just because it wasn't their line out, they just didn't get support or support to the to the breakdown yeah, quick enough. Mark. We just see here a really good chop tackle from from Michaels, and then the second second man in just okay. brilliantly. Dan Carroll, the, the blind side flanker from St Michaels. Baird again will try to correct that last line out. They go this time, and again Black Rock go. Get in front, it's taken forward though by Berman, the captain. Trying to find some gaps, lovely ball back inside there from Gunn. Hind feet. To Stewart. Advantage over! Defence stands firm. Not too many people committing at the breakdown. McNamee out the back, finds Berman again. Tackles are good. The clear Hind out feet. is there. There's hands in there, but the referee says play on, turnover ball. First McCarthy got his hands in there, turned that one over. Kritzinger is in there acting as scrum half now. Ball to McCarthy. The captain tries to find a way through. He's taken down by Berman. Moved out by Coffey now. Both sides just sizing themselves up. Coffey puts it outside it towards Quirk. Okay, Goes right. high this time. A testing one. The chase is there. It's not dealt with. Kritzinger on that one first. Opportunity here now for Blackrock. Loud blast of the whistle there from referee Dermot Blake. Off feet was the call beforehand. Good decision, Bernard. Yeah, good decision. And look at it was a great turnover to break down from Paddy McCarthy, the, the tight head prop. His brother Joe McCarthy played for Leinster a couple of weeks ago, was, was formerly a blindside flanker in, on the SCT, but really good kick. That Gary Owen down the middle of the field is always going to be difficult for Nicholson. From great kick from Zach Quirk. And look at the chase from, from Black Rock when they living off scraps with it get in there and, and win a turnover and then obviously Michael's infringed the breakdown. Oh is the danger on a rugby pitch letting the ball bounce and James Nicholson that time for Michaels just being caught out and it, particularly on the artificial surface Bernard you, you really see the ball bounce in strange directions and that happened there and Cooney and Kritzinger were on it straight away but an opportunity here early doors for Zach Quirk <coughs> to get the first score of this game. He's about 40 out on the left-hand side. Tricky kick. He drills that one. It goes over the bar. 
It didn't look the greatest kick, but it drilled through the post, so that's all that matters. Yeah, and a good start for Black Rock, Bernard. Yeah, really, uh, really good start for Black Rock. Really unusual kicking style. It'll be interesting if that's if that's how he kicks all the time. He just oh, yeah. kept it low, as you said, drilled it, but it, it was perfect trajectory and a, a great score for Black Rock. Given yeah. that they've only really defended, they haven't had to attack yet. But you know, we know in, in rugby, a real good pressurised defence can can lead to scores. McNamee launches this one up, taken well by Pritzinger, who's had a good start to this game. Michaels leave the contest, moved out, big hit coming in there from Dan Barrett. Use it, still onside. Coffee now, sizing up the box kick, puts a long one in towards Nicholson, again testing him, it's taken well this time by the fullback, little step. Passes the ball back outside to Foley, but the tackle is good. He's shepherded into touch by Quinn. And this will be a Black Rock He's line out nice. just beyond the halfway line. Yeah, I like that intent from, from Michaels. Nicholson's a real, really good counter attacker, and he's using a little bit of footwork and he's trying to put Foley away down the left hand side. But for instance, the Black Rock defense was, was well in place and, 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 and snuffled out a threat. But you like to see that intent from, from both, both back trees. Gus McCarthy now for Blackrock has gotten the call from Holmes. There's plenty of movement in the line to come towards the front. It's a good one for Blackrock. It's moved out now by Coffey towards the centre. Jackson Tackle! tries to bash it up. The fence stands firm. They come back down the blind side. Lovely ball back inside from the hooker McCarthy. Michael's just managed to make the tackle and it's a really good defensive line by Jim White there. Forcing Blackrock to go in off their feet and the referee Gives the penalty to St. Michael's. Yeah, really good play from, really good strike play from Black Rock, bringing Maloney back in on on a short line off the back of the rook. Interesting, both Michaels and Black Rock, their first line of strikes they've used. They've, sure they've go to the middle and try to bounce feet, back. Okay? We just see yeah, there, great, great technique from Jim White. I thought he had a turnover earlier, Here's but the uh, referee said he had to release it. But that time he locked Step on and a this. key turnover for St. Michaels. So Michaels just want to get a bit of quality lineup ball here now. Black Rock have got good area pressure the last couple. Zach Burr, the lineup hasn't gone well so far for Michaels. They try and change it around again. The pressure is there and it's sloppy, and that one has gone forward. So Blackrock dominating at lineout time, really getting their defensive line and organised well. Blackrock. Yeah, they are. They're, they're stacking the middle and back, and Michaels are coming into that space, but just not getting up in front. And it's a real contest for the ball in the air. And from a Michaels' point of view, you know that ball was just. They couldn't control it and it knocked forward. Just see their brilliant defensive line at work. And it's a little bit sloppy from St. Michael's, but you know, I think they'd be looking to try and find the space a little bit easier and making it, it very hard for the hooker to, to hit his man clearly. Now, we'll see what these two scrums are made of. Referee Blake wants to make sure he gets this one right, set the tone for the game. Wait having a word the with calls. the front rows. Get steady on the crowds, keep your distance, okay? Okay. Uh, the referee has laid down his marker. So any messing at this scrum, you'd imagine there'll be a free kick straight away. Set. It looks solid. Ball is in from Coffey. Oh, it's a good drive from Black Rock. Very solid scrum. Gives plenty of space on the outside Michael's for Pritzinger. Away, Big collision coming in there. A little bit sloppy at the base, though. And Coffey just fumbles that one. The ball not set very well from him. They're the small mistakes that Michaels will look to capitalise yeah. on, Bernard. Yeah, we had a very good scrum by, St. by Black Rock. And just using, looking to use Kutzinger to, to truck it up. And great tackle by Stay Gunn. Well. And just the ball is just sloppy there. It's very difficult for for the Black Rock number nine coffee to do anything with that. They really get, need to get the better ball presentation. But that first scrum was a real contest. Tom Short, the St Michael's loose head, is very aggressive, but Black Rock managed to keep their their power intact and and got a nice little angle for them to to strike off. Scrum is set. Solid this time from Michaels. It's there at the base for Gunn. They go down the left. There's a little gap for Gunn. Just open, but then the door closed for him. They need to reset again. This time it's victory. Who acts as scrum half, but the defense. Huge tackle coming in there from Blackrock. Creating that turnover. It's taken forward now by Tom Brig. Still going forward. 
There's an out now. Oh, no, and it's just a knock on. on. There's two knock ons. We'll go back with the original one from St. Michael's. The gap open in the middle for a second there, Bernard. It looked like Blackrock were through. Yeah, a little pick and go through the middle if you don't get your, your pillars locked in. But what a hit from Paddy McCarthy. You know, you just see it here. Just gets ball and all perfect, just under the under the chest. You know, his brother Joe, I said he played for Leinster a couple of weeks ago, has a huge amount of collision. He's a really powerful young young man, and it looks like his brother has made the same kind of stuff. Just looking at both sides, it does seem to be ever so slightly a physical advantage in the Black Rock tag. Yeah, so far they're making um, they're making more impact in the in the collisions. Um, Michael's probably just need to get a little bit of shape, get her big ball carriers onto the ball. But at the moment, Rock defensively look really strong. Saying the night meter. Good scrum for Black Rock. Play, get it out of their own half. It's an excellent kick, but it's gone straight out. So we'll go all the way back. Just when they looked like they had everything set up perfectly. Just a little bit too much on that kick, and now Michaels once again with a great attacking opportunity, but they just haven't been able to get that line-out functioning, Bernard. No, but they've dropped the man now. They've gone to a, a, a six-man, six-plus-one, trying to find a little bit more space, and they find it there at the back. Taken well this time, now they set up the drive, and they're through the gap, motoring now towards that line. Will there be a penalty? There is a penalty coming for illegally collapsing it. It's taken forward there by Berman, he's brought to the ground. Ball's available for Gunn, moves it back outside towards Barron. Good defence again from Blackrock. Gunn goes outside once more, using his forwards. Ball is presented now for Gunn, the nine. On they go again, big hits coming in there from Blackrock through Holmes, the loose head. Once again, great line coming through from Berman. Just five metres out now. Still hammering that Blackrock line. Michaels would dearly love to get this try. On they drive. Carroll trying to get down towards the ground. Release, says the referee. The ball is there. Victory is there, getting ready to set a support. The drive is on as he made the line. It looked like he did, but he was just held up. Referee Blake right there. And a penalty. Captain. Okay, for St. Michael's, he goes back for the, the penalty for collapsing. Animal, second one over here for not rolling away. You yeah. go over there or you here? This side. Okay. What should they go for here, we're Bernard? Rolling, please. Talk I think they'll go to the corner, the way they got that drive going. Or maybe they'll go series, no, corner, yeah. That was the first good line-up ball they've caught, and they were able to shear off down the, uh, down the back of the line -up. And they were going, they were nearly going too fast, and eventually Black Rock just pulled it down, so the referee was playing a long advantage. Brilliant defence, Black Rock. Michaels were coming at them in ways, but eventually they give away a second penalty. It'll be interesting here if Michaels can catch this. Doesn't look like Black Rock going to contest. It's taken well by Dave Woods. Now they set that drive again. They get the momentum. Ball is at the back with Baird. Can they make the line? The drive is on. Black Rock desperately trying to defend. Where is that ball? I can just see it out towards the line. Referee is right there. Have they managed to get it over? Yes, says the referee. And it's a drive for St. Michaels. Zach Baird was the man who was going in with the ball. We'll see who comes up with it. Wonderful play by the hooker. Gets it. himself into that set position that early. Line. And Michaels, having You're finally running. worked out that line out, find a way to get the drive going. Yeah, so you see Black Rock don't contest. They actually had a penalty advantage here for hitting early. But look again how they shear off going open. Look, the body position is perfect for Michaels. They, Black Rock get back a little bit of control here, but Michael's got a second drive and brilliant refereeing by Dermot Blake. There's no video referee here, but he's looking how close he is to the action, sees that ball is down and um, yeah, big response from Michael's from, from obviously that first first penalty for from Black Rock and get a little bit of, uh, a, of momentum in the forward pack. Yeah. From Black Rock now, uh, Michael's now will look to add the extra bonus two points conversion here. Yes. Strikes it beautifully as he managed to curl it around. He has indeed. A wonderful strike and just what they needed, Vinton Gunn adding those two points. As I said, they were struggling with that line out initially. They managed to sort it out, and that is a brilliant response 
because Michaels were under a lot of pressure, a lot of it down to the fact that they couldn't get that line out functioning, and now they have the lead. It's just knocked forward there. Looked like a knock on from Walsh, but didn't seem to be given by the referee. So Michaels straight away under pressure, having not dealt with that restart. Blackrock now would be keen to try and respond. Hold that position, Pillars. Use it. Hold it, stop. It's a good kick. Okay, wingers on. Stays in play, though. Taken well by Ruben Maloney. Tries to find some space down that short side. But it's just gone forward in the tackle. Again, the roars come from the Michael supporters. That's a big, big mistake. Again, at a crucial moment for Blackrock, Bernard. Yeah, but a really good kick from, from Gunn. He's a left footer, puts oh, massive hang time on it, and that oh, allows the Michaels kick chase to just get back. Big tackle from, from the hooker. And, and again, the ball just goes forward. But that's down to the defensive pressure the Michaels are putting nice. on, that, on that attacking rope for Blackrock. And the conditions are perfect here in Donnybrook. Virtually no win, so those kicks getting real distance. And Michaels now have had to endure quite a bit of pressure at the beginning of the game. Seem to be easing themselves into control. Ball off the base, brilliantly taken forward again by Sam Berman. They use him in that crash ball position a lot, and he makes ground every time. High feet! Back Rock try and organise their defensive line. Gun now again Chases looks to behind. set for that box okay, kick. Puts plenty of distance on it. It's a testing one. The chase is there on a mistake. Comes in once again from Walsh. As I said, the pressure was there. The defensive line chasing up. And just an error there yeah. from Owen Walsh. And again, handing the momentum back to St. Michael's. Yeah, but it's textbook okay. exiting from, from Michaels. So back to back box kicks from Gunn. You know, down the five meter channel, really good hang time. Mark, but what a there. carry from Berman. I mean, that's that's what got Michaels on the front foot and made it easier for for the for the, for the, for the box kick after a second big carry from Stewart. And uh, yeah, he's, he's having a big influence to cap Michaels captain. So Michaels now organizing with Charlie McNamee at 10. Talking to his back line outside of me as Willem de Klerk and Berman. They seem to use that crash ball with the centers quite a bit. It comes now towards McNamee and it goes to Berman. He manages to hold on to that and bring it step back inside. Oh, on the pass, just couldn't go to hand to James Nicholson. Wonderful step there from Sam Berman, the captain. Did everything right in the pass, just needed to find Nicholson's hands and he was gone through that gap. Blackrock now turning that one over from the knock-on and again another mistake. Knock on. We go back to the original knock on, but what a step that was and piece of play from Berman. Yeah, a lovely strike, just using him on an overs line, and he just goes back into it. Oh, he had got that pass away. You'd imagine Nicholson would have had a one on one to, to, to finish, and he, he's so dangerous in open field. But lovely variety from Michaels. They, they're being quite patient in how they get out of their camp, out of their half, but once they get up the field, looking to play with a little bit more width and, and have the ball players to do it. Blackrock now, since the opening, Bernard, they haven't really strung together too much attack now. No, they haven't. It's been their defence that's been most impressive, to be honest. But uh, look, they have the quality, and uh, they just okay. need to get a little bit of uh, more, more uh, certainty in their handling. Brig now acts as scrum half. Trying to get something going here, Blackrock. Oliver Coffey now at Very nine. Goes Hold back it, towards Hold Quirk. It, they elect to kick it downfield. Okay, looking to test the Michaels back three, but it's easily dealt okay. with and returned with favour by Nicholson. Oh, and a hit comes in there on Ruben Maloney from his opposite number, Nicholson, drilling the Blackrock fullback in that tackle. Blackrock looking to come around the corner, but the defence is well set now. Big tackle coming in there from Dan Carroll. Oh, thank you. Coffee now put some air on this one. It's taken there by Willem de Klerk. Little step from him, looking for some space. Hauled to the ground eventually. Gunn now comes back down the left hand side. Sean Egan, the tight head, bringing this one forward. Once again, the ball is there and set. Gunn looking to do the box kick. Puts plenty of height on that. The chase is on from Charles Foley. Up he goes. 
It's just not backwards. No, forward said the referee. Went forward from the Black Rock player. It's not dealing with that ball in the air. Chase was good from Foley, putting pressure on there, forcing that error. Yeah, it's concerning for Black Rock. If you're a Black Rock supporter or coach, just time off. The, the amount of, uh, uh, of advantage the Michaels are getting from those high kicks. It's not just off gun. They're putting up bombs from Nicholson as well. And at the moment, the, the Black Rock Mike, uh, black back three just aren't as sure under the high ball as they'd like to be. And Michaels are getting back-to-back uh, -back possession. So an area for Black Rock to fix. And probably this injury is a good chance to get some water on board. Just cool heads and try and work out how they can okay, be a bit go. more sure under Let's the high go. ball. Injury's over. Come on. So if you're the Black Rock coach, Bernard, what do you... What message are you trying to get out to your players? Maybe a little bit more of a cool head. They're a bit frantic at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of come from that missed uh, or kick that went into touch. I don't need from for everybody. We're in the right side around 22. And from there, they're starting to panic a little bit. Look, it's normal. It's high pressure. They've conceded a try. But they have all the tools to get back in this game. They just need to take a deep breath and start to play their own game. And some of that's having a bit more possession. They've just been a little bit lackadaisical with their handling. So Michaels now with a good attacking opportunity here. Scrum on the left-hand side, 30 metres out. Ball is in, it's at Victory's feet. He takes it and goes out to Gunn. Now they look to get some width on the brilliant hands again. There from the clerk, just couldn't find the support runner. The knock on there, the referee loud blast of the whistle. Just a little bit over eager in the tackle. But it will be a Black Rock scrum for that knock on. Yeah, but well again, it's a really nice strike play. Lots of decoy runners, and yeah, just trying to bring the blind, blind wing. Charles, Fo Charles Foley in uh, off the shoulder of the centres to try and find a little bit of space, but just slightly overruns. And good deed by Blackrock there. They jam in there. There's no real space. It just feels like Mike and I are, are just that one pass away from breaking down the defensive line for Blackrock. Yeah, very much. But don't forget, Reggie, they've had a lot of set piece now because of because of some dropped high balls, and this is probably a moment in a the game they want to capitalise on that. Stand up, stand up. Okay, Black Rock. Time off. Puckers. We'll look to have a steady scrum here. Both captains are being brought out. Let's listen to what the referee has to say. To them. Let Dan go, okay? We both were in early. Guys, just hold us. Keep it stable. Work to guys, keep it stable. Don't be going in early, okay? We've got good spacing. Just gotta hold your weight. Back to your second rows with you, okay? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Good by the referee. I like I like to see the referees intervening early at scrum time and laying down the law. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, we, we want to have a good contest as well, but you want to make sure it's safe as well. And both these front rows want to go at each other. Um, big strong lads and, and looking to lay down a marker in, in their in their area of the game. Coffee now with the ball into the scrum. It's there at the feet of Jackson. They go down the left hand side once again. Hold it! They elect to okay. put some distance on it, but it's dealt with well at the back. By Nicholson, little step from him, trying to find a gap through. It's closed down quickly, though. Ball is there, available for Finton Gunn. He's been busy so far in this first half. Box kick getting set again. Chase is on. Okay. Now, how will this one be dealt with? It's taken well. But Quirk moves it back inside again. Trying to get those strike runners going. Cooney Onside. makes a little bit of ground. Now they go to the forward runners. That's a good break. Tackle release! Plenty of ground being made and a penalty. Good work from Black Rock. That's more like it. 60 ball down to Browns, you got a release Liam for you. Maloney the there. Get his hands on the ball and go forward. No release was the call from the referee. And now Black Rock with an opportunity to drill this one down towards the corner and get a line out and try and launch some sort of an attack. Because as I said, it's been a bit lacking at this stage from Black Rock. Yeah, but now they have the chance. They've got a, a lineup just on the 22. It was a great carry from, from Maloney, Lee Maloney. He's a cousin of Ross. Ross Maloney, yeah, died, who yeah. went to St. Okay, Michael's, right, actually, so but line, obviously okay. um, is a very decorated player with, with right, Leinster. The um, line, okay. So divided the family loyalties there, but they need that. They need those they need those big forwards to get them all on the front foot now and start to punch holes in the Michael's defence. Hard place to throw the ball in with those Michael supporters banging the hoarding beside them. He finds his man though, goes to Colrevi, and now they go forward. Big carry from Kevin Jackson. They go back down the left hand side. Great angle. Referee is absolutely poleaxed. And he's, he's hurt. got hurt there, he's the hurt. referee. He yeah. got it straight in the face as the player came through. It was a brilliant okay. running line coming back in. 
And he just got caught in an awkward position, the referee. Don't like to see that. Yeah. Straight away, it looked like he got hit straight in the face. Didn't I know, it? Uh, it didn't look good. He was in a lot of pain on the ground. But uh, yeah, again, really good carry from, from Jackson. And both teams, as I said, are trying to hit back in that blind side of the rook. And the player is coming at such pace. You see this with Jackson here. Just gets him over the game. Like, good tackle by Michaels. And they're just bouncing back. Ooh, big hooker coming into him there. Gus McCarthy, it was a great throw from him. And uh, he did well to stop him in fairness. The referee, Dermot Blake, I hope, he ha I hope he's not injured. Yeah, he took the shoulder. It was, you know, as, as Gus McCarthy was coming back, you know, and his shoulder just caught the referee on the chin. So it's as much of the shock of it as anything else. But it may be a first. We may have a HIA on the referee, Birch. <laughs> no, he's, he's a tough, he's a tough, tough bit of stuff there, my Blake. I think he could be winded. But look, we're very lucky. We've got two very good assistant referees and Tom Colton and Katie Byrne, who, who have seen a lot of a club level if, if they have to step in. But hopefully, Darren Blake can, can run it off. Yeah. But it's a, I mean, the physicality and athleticism of these players, the, the, the speed they hit the ball at, the power they have from from the gym programs uh, and the athletic development. Uh, I mean, it's it's nearly as like like playing senior rugby uh, in terms of adult adult rugby. Yeah, and he wouldn't have been expecting it either. He's back on his feet. Fair play to referee Dermot Blake. He seems to be okay. A little bit shook, but he seems to be okay. I think he seems happy to continue on. So it was the fact that uh, <laughs> having a bit of fun there with one of the Michaels players. You can see that he wasn't expecting it, and he just got caught on the angle. It was, and like I said, the hooker Gus McCarthy. He's no small man, so you know when you're not expecting that and you get hit on the chin with a shoulder, you know. People might be looking at it and thinking, the, seeing the humorous side of it, but I tell you, that had to hurt. So well done, Darren Blake, for getting back up again and continuing on. Well, it's a big match for, for referees as well. We're talking about the, the, the players. And, uh, and this is a real pressurized environment, and a good performance by a referee here can, can move them further up the ranks, you know, towards the professional level. Well, we go back farther scrum to Black Rock, and again, they have an opportunity. They're lining up right behind that quirk, behind that scrum, gets it out towards Maloney. Michaels now looking to set up their defensive line. It's taken forward well by Liam Maloney. Ball is there, available once again for Coffey. On they go through loose head, Max Holmes. Good clean ball available all the time. Trying to move it a little bit wider every time, Black Rock. Defence standing firm from St. Michael's. Paddy McCarthy now makes another metre. We've got McCarthy, the other McCarthy, the hooker, outside him. The clear out comes in through Colrevi. Coffey now keeps using his forwards. Leg drive coming in from Alex Mullen. Out they go on the outside. Advantage still being played. Paddy McCarthy now takes yeah. on that other meter black rock definitely get, not coming. He's really getting there. ground but penalty's yeah. been Long given side. away by st michael's it's not coming was called for the yeah. referee so will they go for the corner or take the points here bernard it'll be interesting uh, we haven't had a chance to see them uh, and their line at mall but uh, you know, it is impressive their ball carrying there they're going to take the points but that's the first bit of territory they've had uh, and, uh, sorry uh, possession in the right area of the field and you can see their carriers just punching little holes and that's the that's the block rock team we've heard a lot about this year really powerful really well organized and they'll get a lot of confidence from that how they've been able to manage a, 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 to win a penalty I know they were offside on that occasion, oh, but the Michaels the defense mark, did no. seem to be holding pretty firm as well, though. Oh, yeah, Michaels won't, won't, won't give in easy. They're well organized, but just from a Black Rock point of view, given that period of 10 minutes where they're the a little bit um, out of sync, I just think that'll settle them down you. a bit. Good line out, good strike play, and they look like they were on the front foot until Penalty, obviously the referee had to blow it up for that injury to himself. But back again, they start getting those carriers like McCarthy and Holmes onto the ball and, and punching holes. This is a big kick for Zach Quirk to bring his team within one point on St. Michael's, settle them a little bit. Left-footed strike. Hits the ball well, has he pulled it? No, straight through the post. Wonderful kick there from Zach Quirk. 
and as the scoreline would suggest, Bernard, there's very, very little between these sides watching them. No, they're so evenly matched. And, uh, I think the Blackrock coach, Justin Vanstone, will be delighted with just getting that. It seems up here if the, if the Michaels is, is with, sorry, if the wind is with, say, Michaels, and that definitely looks the case from the look at the box kicks from, from Gunn. So if Blackrock can go in at half time, you know, just a point down, they'll be pretty happy. Charlie McNamee goes down towards that 22 again. It's taken well this time by Maloney, though. Leaps early. Okay, no, he's okay. Drags that one in. On they go again through Colreavy. Down that blind side, taken forward by Tom Brigg for Blackrock. Oliver Coffey setting up that box kick again. Michael's right, back three, you. well Don't organized. You can see Nicholson you. under this one, statement. takes it easily, puts it outside towards Charlie McNamee. Little step from him into the tackle, but he's put to the ground straight away. It's there now for Gunn. Stay there. He's outside towards the forwards. Tackle the drive again two. coming in, but the tackles stand firm. There seems to be so little gaps. Very little way through for these attacking players. Gunn now will put boot to ball on this one himself. Goes long with that box kick, testing again. But it's well dealt with this time by Quirk. Little step from him. The tackle Quirk. comes in, but straight, off. straight over the top is the call from the referee. I think it was Kritzinger who went in off his feet and sealed off. And that's a penalty to Michaels again. And it is, it does seem that, you know, Blackrock are, are handing somewhat handy penalties over to, to Michaels at crucial moments. Yeah, look at it, it's a big part of Black Michaels' game. I mean, Gunn is using the wind, he's kicking it along, but it's landing in a five-metre channel every time, and he's, he's flirting with, obviously, kicking down the full, but he's so accurate and so composed, he's just getting it perfectly, And that, but that's allowing Michaels to get that kick-chase line, and Blackrock are so desperate to get to, to this ball carrier that this time they just go off their feet, a really good hit, and just go in off the feet, miss the contact, and well picked up by the referee. This is a long kick that they've gone for. Finton Gunn backing himself with this one. As you said, there is a little bit of a wind has picked up in the last <laughs> 10 minutes from right to left. So any bit of breeze that's there is in St. Michael's favour at the moment. So obviously feels that that bit of a breeze will assist in the distance of this one. But it's a long way out. through the pre-match routine another left foot kick strikes it well as he got the direction he has the distance and that one is a brilliant kick from Finton Gunn just the right amount of distance drops over the bar you could see assistant referee Katie Byrne looking at Tom Colton to make sure but what a kick and what a lift that is for the St. Michael's team, Bernard. Oh, he's such an accomplished player. We're used to the French nines being goal kickers, but it's rare enough in, in, in Irish rugby. And he's cool as a cucumber. I played with his uncle, Niall Gunn in Lansdowne, who's a similar type of character, very Don't talented. Talk. And, uh, you know, there's huge hope and expectation around Fitton's ability to kick on and, and do great things in Irish rugby. Well, that kick from Zach Burke hey, going long that time, taken well by... Charlie McNamee but just half charge down but it does give St. Michael's the throw in to this line out and Zach Bird again with the throw they go towards the middle to Dave Woods set up that mall again marching forward now Michaels that's a good drive six seven meters from that line out they've gone forward and they're still going well that's a really really good drive for St. Michael's Going forward all the way, use it, says the referee gun. Half charge down again, but they get the penalty Six for offside. Side entry, I think. Yeah, that's an uh, unbelievable drive. Michael's line has settled down. They're starting to use throw jumps. Um, and in fairness, Black Rock seem to be afraid of the mall, so they're not getting yeah. any area pressure. But they're going to have to stop that because between the line out, the line out drive from Black Rock from Michael's the and the, the, the box there, okay? kicking of, of Gunn. That could be enough to win a game for Michaels. Okay, here's the marks. Step there. Do you stay there? Yeah, they do seem to have settled down the better of the two sides, St. Michaels. And don't forget, Black Rock were the favourites coming into this game. Only slightly. But at the moment, Fine. Michaels just seem to be the more 
confident of the two. The line out goes to Woods again. Another successful one. They've sorted out that line out problem. Tackle release, Tackle, Tackle release Liedel. is the order to no Tom Brig. He does so. Feast. Thank you. Counter rook coming in from Black Rock, and it's good. Referees right there. And that's a really, really good turnover from Black Rock. Goes back towards Quirk. He goes long, tries to find some space in behind. Backwards. Charlie McNamee just not quite gathering that one, goes off his knee and goes back. And that puts the pressure. But that all came from a huge counter up from Black Rock. And almost as if they said, come on, we've had enough of this, let's get back into this match. Yeah, and it's great to see, to be honest. We saw it yesterday being used by, by France to, to great success to counter Rook. A lot of teams, you know, were just tackling and, and just filling the line. Whereas here we see Black Rock, after initial, they try and choke it at the start. It looks like it's one safety for, for Michaels. But just at this moment, it's big Joe McCarthy, Paddy McCarthy coming in and, you know, gets that go forward and from there, Michael or Black Rock snap, snap the ball and get a great kick down the field. Throw from McCarthy, Whoa! finds Kulravi. And they go down the blind side. And oh, the ball just goes forward. After a wonderful break down that short side. Just That's failing off. to protect the ball. Michael's turn it over. Going with a chance now to try and clear his lines. He'll look to set that box Stay kick on. up. Set up his forwards around them for protection. They'll be glad That's to just get it out of play, you'd imagine. He doesn't find that, though. Goes high and long instead. This time it's dealt with by Walsh. They go open. Maloney now is hit hard and driven back. Michael's defence standing firm again. They go towards the forwards using Paddy McCarthy. He makes okay, another metre and a half. No Better this from Black Rock. Outside they go towards Quirk. Driven back that time by St. Michael's in defence. On they go. Maloney. Tucker, Big carry away. from him. Ball there for Coffey. Penalty coming. Oh, wow. Hands in at the breakdown. The good work there from Blackrock. Trying to find some good forward. Good patience. Maloney seems to be a big influence on wh what way they're oh, playing. You know, big it. carries from him. A huge carry. And look at this lovely blindside peel. They go, go back down. Well, what a tackle by the Michaels. Tight head, Sean Egan. He, <laughs> He just gets back and dislodges that ball, and uh, it was a very dangerous moment for, for Black Rock. But as you said, Reggie, I think Lee Maloney looks okay, to be someone who can are, get over the gain line for Black Rock. He's punching holes, and then they get another line out in the same position he used the front peel last time. You'd imagine they'll look to do something a little bit different, maybe it's a normal drive or a little breakout play going open this time. Goes McCarthy now, and has got the instructions from Max Holmes, the loose head. They'll go towards the back, Maloney this time is the target, but it's crooked. And again, at a crucial moment, an error creeps in. You'd wonder if the Michaels crowd in the background behind McCarthy as he was getting ready to take that throw was just enough to put him off. Yeah, it's the worst place in the world to be to be thrown in as a schoolboy in front of the opposition past pupils. And just see it there. Fairness, Black Rock, we're in space. We're going to use Maloney, but just, just a little bit down the inside. There's, there is a quite a bit of wind as well, so it's a difficult one for for the hooker, but look at the black hooker still down here, just need to try and get a little bit of pressure on this on his exit um, and see if they can spend a little bit more time in, in the Michael Swing too. Guys, I, hang on. Second rows have to help with holding your balance, okay? One more free kick straight away. Talk to them behind you, please. No, no. Both sets of second rows have a role to play. From this now, Marseille Michaels need to try and get out of this area. It's a little bit messy. It's key that they manage to clear their lines here. Haven't managed to get that turnover at line out time. Yeah, same mark. You see. McNamee just dropped back in the pocket there, Vernon. You reckon it's a straight ball back yeah. to him and clear his lines? Well, it looks the way he's setting up. They have been using Berman just to punch a hole first and then using Gunn's left foot, but I think they're going to go straight, not mess around. That's yeah, yeah. They're just at half time, a good setup there from St. Michael's. A half that saw plenty of action, and Michael's just coming out on top for the score there. A try from Baird from the line out to regain the lead.
and at half time we see St. Michael's at 10 points, Black Rock 6. Oi, Olivia, down here. Learning with Barclays life skills gives you great money knowledge. Yes, Olivia. Woo! Join the 13 million who've used our free learning program. Get a fast, affordable business loan from Funding Circle and give your business a lending hand. Apply today at FundingCircle.com. Sometimes it's reassuring to know exactly what you're getting. Premier Inn. Rest easy. Only available at PremierInn.com. The future has arrived. Are you ready for new Sky Broadband Ultra Fast? <laughs> We're rolling it out across the UK right now. <laughs> it's 10 times faster than standard fiber broadband. Experience the game changing speeds of next generation broadband. New Sky Broadband Ultra Fast. Got good news for you guys. We're coming to you for our holes. Suffering from house embarrassment? Get up to 50% off showroom kitchen units at Wix. We Buy Any Car is easy. Get a quote online in under 60 seconds. It's 30 seconds now, Phil. Oh. Book an appointment at your local branch. It could be as close as 13 minutes drive away. After a once over, they'll send the money to your bank. They already have. Oh. I'll do the last bit, Phil. To find out how much your car's worth in 30 seconds, enter your reg number now at webuyanycar.com. Welcome back to the second half of this Leinster Senior Schools Cup match between St. Michael's and Black Rock. And just to note that any new Premier Sports viewers, the Premier Sports is the home of the United Rugby Championship in Ireland and the UK and is the only TV channel showing every game live. There's a full fixture around this weekend, including Munster against Edinburgh on Friday night and on Saturday, Leinster face the Ospreys. Well, Bernard, it was a fantastic first half of rugby not too many tries just the one coming from St. Michael's when they had been under pressure it was a good mall setup and Baird controlling things at the base manages to find a way over yeah the relationship between Baird and, and Woods in the line out has been really fruitful for, for St. Michael's and the line out drive has been a, a big weapon for them and that came off, for, off a, a penalty advantage on the far side from a great line out mall but yeah, they just get their way over there really good body position really compact and as I said at the time good referee from Dermot Blake to, to see it put down but I think you know you'd love to see this game open up a li little bit it's been very kick kick heavy um, both teams have got great back lines and um, I'd imagine it will I think they were just being a bit cagey the first half so much pressure on but um, you'd love to see the ball getting into the into the wings um, a little bit more in the second half and see what they can do you mentioned as well that there was a, a slight bit of a breeze started to pick up towards the end of that first half from up here it's hard to see it but when you're down on the pitch level it certainly seems to be a bit there and, and Black Rock will have that do you think they might try and 
use that bit of a breeze and, and kick a little bit more for territory? Yeah, I think they're going to have to try and get a foothold uh, um, in, the, in the Michaels half. I definitely think it is swirling a little bit, but it's, uh, I'd imagine it's in, uh, it was in St. Michael's favour in the first half, given how Gunn was able to slot that penalty. Um, and Blackrock have a lot of really good kickers in, in their team, particularly Quirk and, and Maloney. Uh, so they'll probably look to try and find a little bit of territory and, and use their forwards then to, to smash holes in the Michaels defence. So it will be St. Michael's to get this second half underway. Charlie back to me with the restart. Just waiting for the subs from both teams to get back to their positions. Referee Blake now gives the signal. They go long and deep. It's taken well by Walsh. Launches one all as well taken though by Clinton Gunn. In goes Woods as scrum half. They try to get some width in the McNamee. Puts it on the outside. Towards the clerk and Berman. Take it on now. Good hands. Tight furlong like there from Tom Stewart as he puts it out the back door. It's a rock. No seven. One again using the forwards to drive this one forward. Great leg drive. Coming in from no Barr. No hands white. No hands white. It's there again Tucker's for Gunn. Over. It's moved it a little bit wide. McNamee trying to find space in the outside, but the pass was just behind. We saw there, Berman just seemed to overrun that. Tucker's got a roll first. Play a little bit. The ball pass was behind yeah, him. He couldn't yeah. handle it. Yeah, but Michaels are, are, are starting to show a little bit more intent okay. ball in hand, He's playing a little bit out the back from okay. those forward runners. And we just see here, you know, unfortunately that pass is just a little bit on his inside shoulder because Berman's a very talented player and he's got great hands. Good pressure from Blackrock as well. They got up high on the outside, but Michael's starting to play with a little bit more depth in that second wave, as I said, out the back that, you know, okay. most good teams are playing now from a tactical point of view. Now Blackrock will be looking to start this second half very positively. Good scrum. Attacking opportunity here. It's in from Coffey to the base. Moves it outside towards Kritzinger. Big crash ball coming up the middle. Once again, the tackles are good. Around the corner. Maloney. Oh, he's drilled back on this occasion. Huge tackle coming in there from Wilhelm de Klerk. He gets back on his feet and makes another one. Great work from the centre there. Taken forward once again by Paddy McCarthy. Seems to make ground whenever he has it. Release the call from the referee. It's there now for Coffey. Moves it back outside again. Double tackle that time by the second rows, Woods and Barron. Wonderful defence for St. Michael's. Blackrock struggling to find a way through. Paddy McCarthy, though. He's having no trouble making it's okay. the gain line. It's, fine. it's there now for Coffey. Sets up the box kick. Goes towards Nicholson. Comes towards that one. Brilliantly taken and bounces off the tackle. Wonderful play by James Nicholson there. The fullback for Michael's. Out they go, it's chance now on the outside, there's space there. Great hands again from the centres to Clerk and Berman. Blackrock just managing to close that, it feels though. Tackle that their defence is creaking just a little bit. Michael starting to find ways around that outside channel. Taken forward there now by Matthew Victory. Ball is there available. A few of the Blackrock players just lying in an awkward position. Gun sets up the box kick. Launches one high, is it too far? Is it going straight out? Yeah, that's the wind got a hold of that one. It is slightly going across the pitch, so that just dragged it out over. But it does feel a little bit, Bernard, like Michaels are starting to, to mount challenges around that corner and find some space. Yeah, they are, but the physicality in the first the first couple of minutes of the second half has just gone up a, a notch and, and both you know both teams have a have a South African influence in their in their centres. Michaels have Willem de Klerk and Blackrock have Kurt Singer and both of them are just laying down markers physically uh, both defensively and from a attacking point of view and some of the hits you can nearly feel them up here so huge physical intensity in this game. Maloney is the target but the throw is bad for McCarthy it's tidied up by St. Michael's. Hind feet. Back come the forwards from St. Michael's to add a little bit of weight there so that Finton Gunn can set himself up. He uses his strike runners again. Blackrock screaming for a release of the ball, and that time they get it. You can see Tom Brake with his arms in the air, screaming at the referee that 
the ball wasn't been released, and that's an important Thank moment you, for Blackrock. Back 10, guys. So, looks, looks like they're going to go for the corner off this one as well, Bernard. Yeah, they're going in the corner. Liner hasn't probably been as fluid as, uh, as they would have liked, but um, they want to put a squeeze on Michaels. And just two errors there for Michaels. One was kicking out in the full, and the second was just not getting enough support support to the ball carrier as they were trying to organise their kick exit. Oh, but what a kick that is from Zach Quirk. Got absolutely every last inch out of that kick, and now on the five-meter line, huge, huge opportunity for Blackrock. They need to get this line out right, and they've got to try and set up that drive. Will Maloney be the target? No, they go instead for Kalrivi. It's taken well. Here comes the drive from Blackrock. They're inching towards that line, it just goes down. Get back on his speed, referee says yes, it's there! The try has come from the captain, Gus McCarthy. Being patient, he wasn't held in the tackle on that drive, Bernard. Got back on his feet, referee said it was OK. Yeah, look at the, look at the technique, they, they shear off the front of the line out. I just, just here, he, he goes off his feet for a second, but he wasn't held and he bounces his way over the line. You see the Michaels, forwards are asking the referee, was it, was it not a tackle? But it wasn't. But brilliant decision to kick to the corner when you have a line-up mall of that, of that quality and you know, huge, huge score for Blackrock to get him back in the game. Yeah, and Michaels might have been just guilty of not playing it out there, expecting the referee to make the decision that he'd been tackled. But he wasn't held, he got back to his feet. And as you said, big swing at the start of this second half. Blackrock going into the lead. And a conversion opportunity coming here now. For Zach Kirk. Right side for the left-footed kicker. Strikes it well, has he turned it around the corner? Managed to get it through the gap, just stays on that outside post. So just the one point between the two teams, but importantly from a Blackrock point of view, it's in their favour. Yeah, big score for Blackrock, very tough conversion um, from there, but again, it's just how well these teams are, dr are drilled. Look at the body position from, from the Blackrock forwards here when they get a chance, just creating that go forward and, and opening up the space for the hooker. to get out of here play back inside again a lot of work been done by Paddy McCarthy the tight head doing a lot of the hard yards setting up this box kick Coffey goes long Nicholson is there takes it well steps back inside looks for some support tries to find a gap defense is there Gunn steps in uses the forward runners tight head Sean Egan okay. looks to make some ground he's drilled backwards though Blackrock now looking to Don't try and set up free. that counter rook. Gunn launches okay, a huge up and under the chase is there. Big take. Wonderfully caught in the air. By Quirk. Opportunity now to come on this open side. Get some width on it. Kritzinger puts the shoulder down and tries to find room through the gap. Quirk puts it outside now towards Walsh. He's tackled well. On goes Maloney. Another big drive Tackle from him. Tackler away is the call from the referee. Coffee now. Back outside again towards Mullen, who ships that ball onwards. They're coming back down this left hand side. Maloney has lined up again. They find him. Quick hands for the intercept. Comes from Berman. Chase is on. Was he taken out? The referee says play on. Down goes Ruben Maloney to try and tidy that one up. He's caught by Hassan. Now, Michaels need to be careful not to give away a penalty. Blackrock try and get out of here through Maloney. Big drive from him. Five feet. Step, guys. Huge Don't. moment there as Sam Berman got that interception and makes the ground. Now, can they clear their lines? It's two. a good clearance from Quirk. Okay, Goes towards on. Nicholson. He takes it well. Goes back towards the open field. Passes it back inside on the wraparound play with McNamee. Find space on the outside. It's a good line coming from De Klerk. Quick ball needed here from Michaels. Hands on the ground, it's a call. The referee says play on. McNamee. Pass back outside towards. Gunn now has it. On they go through Woods. Down that blind side. 
run, goes back towards the forwards. Huge tackle coming in there. Physicality in this game is unbelievable. McCarthy drilling into that one. <laughs> Step back inside from Michael's gun. Again, uses the forwards. On goes Tom Stewart. He looks to find a gap. It's just not there at the moment. Tap your release, tackle! Releases the call from the referee. A penalty would be a big call here. Counter rooking coming in from Blackrock. Where's that ball? Gun is digging for it. Forward. He can't Just get it. In. It's brought in, it's going forward. So it's a scrum to Michaels. What a pass did you play that one, Vernon? The game has opened up. We just see here, Berman just reads that little tip on pass and puts it through. Gets well blocked. In fairness, Michaels just um, Blackrock scrambled brilliantly. Turkey gets back there. Hugh Cooney and they, they managed to exit, but unfortunately when they're kicked that they went into Nicholson's hand and he looks so dangerous, but huge hit about two phases before that for Paddy McCarthy again. He's he's probably the most, one of the most dominant right, forwards I've seen in school level, collision wise, and every time he either carries or hits, you know, people get hurt. Well, we said it before, and that this is going to be one of the classics of this year's competition. There's no doubt about it whatsoever. Both of these sides are serving up a feast of rugby for us here today. St. Michael's now with a real opportunity. We need to get this scrum right. They've lined up on the right hand side. But interestingly enough to see, Charlie McNamee has gone down that left hand channel. Keep the gap, guys. So. Both packs have been really evenly matched in the scrum, and, and you know, Black Rock will need to, to get the right angle here. Just a loose head for Black Rock. Max Holmes, he, he had a serious neck injury earlier on in the year, and he's come back in time for the cup. Um, comes from a real sporting family. His father, his, his father played for Simon Holmes, played for Scotland in the back row three caps, and his mum was a great hockey player. So, real supporting heritage here. Look at him getting the angle on that scrum. Little dummy comes through, gone straight through the middle. They look to go Tap through Berman. Right. The tackle is good. Quick ball there available. Taken forward now by Barron. It's there for Gunn. He goes to his forwards again. On goes Hooker Baird. Tackle is good from Jackson. It's been turned over. Black Rock have it. Mistake there from Michaels, but great defensive work from Black Rock. Once again, they set up as we see Quirk lining to kick this one left footed stays in play james nicholson is there underneath it which way will he go he looks to set up little step from him tries to find the gap he's a little bit isolated but it's there good recovery from black rock to clerk for michaels acts as scrum half leave him gone now with players lined up outside him goes towards mcnamee tries to get that extra bit of width on it thought about throwing the pass but held on on they go again. Good defensive work coming in from Black Rock. Don't. Every moment you just feel there's a half break. Chance is taken by Ruben Maloney on the intercept. He's gone. They're not going to catch him from there. Ruben Maloney with a wonderful intercept touches it down for Black Rock and completely against the run of play. Black Rock on that outside channel. He biting his time. It looked like Michaels were going to make. To go forward, but Maloney had other ideas, timed his run to perfection, got the intercept and went the length. Yeah, what a read from him. You see Michael trying to go to Witt. He just gets in that passing channel, picks it off one-handed, and he's low to pace. We've seen that earlier on in the game. You know, he's a he's a high-level quality player, vice captain of Black Rock, and sometimes cup games come down to defence as much as attack, and that's a great piece of defence, but also on the line there. We saw a huge turnover from the open side Jim White when it taught, when it looked like Michaels were were inevitably going to score, so great defence from Blackrock. Yeah, completely against the run of play. And now, Zach Quirk with an opportunity to add the two points, and it's a crucial two points as well. Strikes it well and strikes it between the posts. And as I said, that just stretches the lead to eight points. And suddenly in this second half, Black Rock have come alive. They've got into the lead in this game as we watch again the wonderful hands from Ruben Maloney, timing that run, flicking the ball up into his hands. And Michaels now makes some changes. 
Good restart from them. They chased that one. It's brilliantly taken by Sam Berman. Been so involved in this game, Sam Berman. And this game is by no means over. Penalty opportunity now for St. Michael's. They'll probably go for the corner. Points. He's off feet first. Rian Coogan has come on, as has Michael O'Reilly. And Alex Murray. Some fresh legs coming on for St. Michael's in the forwards, and just when they'll need it. And they have decided to go for the post on this one. There's plenty of time left in this game, of course, and Finton Gunn, who is an excellent kicker, showed that in the first half. We'll try and add the three points and drag this game back to just five, and of course, a one-score game. Struck it really well. It's going towards the post. It's a wonderful kick from Finton Gunn again. And that's the response that Michaels needed. Yeah, great kick under big pressure. And he just slotted the post. And now it brings it back to a, a one score game if Michaels can, can get a try. So I think, you know, Black Rock will look to play a little bit more territory now. And back their defense has been really impressive so far. It's a good kick from Quirk. He needs some chasers. It's well taken by Hugh Cooney. Hansen like. Goes in the air and gathers that one. It's moved out along the line. That is a chance for Black Rock. They got on the outside. Quinn now with some space. Takes on the challenge of Nicholson. Okay, looks there. like James Nicholson hurt himself in that tackle. Maloney carries on though. The ball is there again. Physicality has gone up a notch again in this game. Huge tackles coming in on those runs. On goes Paddy McCarthy once again. The okay, tight head involved. Maloney drops the shoulder, takes on two of them. He's driven back this time, though, by Michaels. Oliver Coffey brings it back outside. Good go forward on, this time. He goes rooting for the ball, Coffey. Keeping it kind of tight, drawing in that Michaels defence. And this time, the Michaels defence is good. Not releasing the ball is the call from the referee. Both defenders doing their the job ball. admirably, Bernard. No, oh, they are. Just, they're, they're, they're staying intact. We just saw a great Time pass out. over the top from 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 Luke Kurtzinger to put the ball into space from, from Quinn on the outside. But Michael scrambled really well. And once they got back a little bit of a solidity and started to slow the ball down, and then they get big numbers around the ball. And you see there, double double jackal from the seven, Jim from the seven, uh, Jim White, yeah, the hooker, Zach Baird, key turnover when Michael when Michael looked like they're on the back foot. Break now comes in for all the players, and there's no doubt they need it. We'll probably start to see some more subs being introduced in this game. Huge work being done by the pack in, in, in Black Rock as well. Paddy McCarthy, massive ball carrying Liam Maloney everywhere in that Black Rock attack. And equally. Okay. The standout performers for Michaels, Sam Berman, involved in everything, leading by example as captain. Okay. Now, Michaels trying to get some distance on this, bring the play towards the halfway line. Looking to get themselves back involved in this. 18 minutes left. Plenty of time in this game. Two meters, two meters. Crucial lineup call here. Dan Carroll's at the back, but they go instead for Dave Woods. Second row taking that one. And on goes this Michael drive. We saw it in the first half very, very successfully. They've moved their way down the pitch and they've made 10 metres already with this one. And it's still going forward, Bernard. It's a great drive from, drive from Michaels. Oh, look how well built that is. That's that's 25 metres. Black Rock will do well a lot to give away a penalty here to stop this one. They managed to stop it. They move it. Gun now puts it outside towards Matthew. Victory. 
He makes some ground balls, yeah. presented well. Going back down that blind side. Michaels now testing the Black Rock defence once again. Baird drilled back in the tackle that time. Good Black Rock defence. You feel Michaels need to get some width on this. McNamee shifts it on towards Ryan Coogan. Huge carry from him. Is he isolated? He is. Great work from Gus McCarthy on Black Rock. Gets in there quickly and on that ball. Yeah, again, great defence. They managed to stop Amola was moving forward, you know, really ominously without giving away a penalty, which is rare. And then they they just got enough pressure on that ball there. You see the big carry from Coogan, but Michaels can't get the, the support to him quick enough. And the Black Rock captain, Gus McCarthy, gets in there and turns it over. Huge moment. I agree with you, Reggie. You think Michaels will want to get a little bit wider off those malls. It's, it's a big effort to demand your forward pack to, to drive at 20 metres and then make three or four carries in a row after. But also because the Black Rock defence is very well set up and very strong in around those fringe areas, that's where they're at their strongest, so they need to get outside that defence. Yeah, you'd, you'd wonder if Michael's a little bit spooked by that intercept, but they did throw him go wide, and now we're trying to use the power game. Look, at they have the skills to do either or. Both teams do, it's just a case of um, what, what you can pull, under, pull out under the pressure of, of a cup match like this, which is so finely balanced. It is finely balanced, this game on a knife edge. You do feel, though, that where a Black Rock to score again. It might just be too much for St. Michael's to come back from. They've got to try and get that okay, next score the on the board. Give themselves the confidence yeah, to stay in this match. Be quicker, please. Black Rock with the advantage Let's now. Go. This line out just over the halfway line. Walking in, Maloney's there, goes instead towards Paddy Colravi. Good take from them. He use Maloney coming around. Taken forward now. Good drive again coming in from Michael Colravi. Work back inside towards Cooney. Defense stands firm. Out they go. Here, call from the referee. Michael's defense is set. Work goes on the outside. Good twist and turn out of the tackle there from Quinn. Just hauled to the ground. Huge tackles coming in from the Michael's defense. They need to be careful they're not offside here. Just creeping. Oh, that was a brilliant ball towards Jackson. Jackson has a happy on the inside. Can he make the line? It's a brilliant tackle from Nicholson, but Coffey somehow managed to reach for the line and get that ball touchdown. And out of nothing, Black Rock have taken complete control of this game. Oh, what a, what a try. And Black Rock started to play with a little bit more width, a little break by Andrew Quinn, gives him go forward, and then on the way back here, just to Jackson a little bit wider out. Michael's trying to rush up, and you see that perfect pass. And he's so composed in, in open field here. Great, I thought it was intercepted for a second. Great trail run by Coffey, and he has enough speed to finish. But beautiful try by Black Rock. Yeah, there was two moments in that build up where it looked like it may be intercepted. The first pass to Jackson looked like it was going to be taken out, but it ended up being the perfect pass. And that final one from Jackson back to Coffey. Just like it was to be intercepted, but it wasn't to be. And somehow Oliver Coffey managed to make his way all the way to that line. And now Quirk with the left footed boot adds the two points. And that's a huge blow to St. Michael's. I said it moments ago that were Black Rock to get the next score. You'd wonder, would that be too much of a psychological blow for Michaels? Yeah, but it's a great setup for their attacking shape. Just two forward runners, they go out the back and. You know, if they have someone like Jackson, who's a really comfortable footballer, to run a hard line off Kurt Singer. Brilliant try, brilliant try. Now the pressure on Michaels to go and find a response. And even on the replay, it still looked like McNamee was going to intercept it, even though we knew he didn't. Taken forward once again by Paddy McCarthy. Tireless in his effort today for Blackrock. On they go through Tom Brigg. Now Black Rock just looking to suck the life out of this game, but it's a penalty now for St. Michael's. He's the first man on the ball. And Michael's You've have got, got to, to throw absolutely everything at this last on the ball. Keep 13 feet, minutes or so. On the ball. 
Yeah, it's a big turnover there from, from Dave Woods. He's been really impressive in the lineout. He's been a constant source of, of possession, but there we see him on, on, at the breakdown getting a key turnover. And his battle with, the, with his opposite number, Michael Colreevy, has been There's incredible. Both of them are, are Leinster representatives, and I'm sure they're going to have a huge future ahead of them. And Michaels have got to go for it now, Bernard, don't they? They've got to try and put some width on this and try and just find space on that outside. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Look at them all, it's been oh. very penalty productive for them, and here they go again. They have another penalty, penalty advantage, penalty but penalty you'd penalty. like to see them go to width off this and see if they can find a little bit of space a little bit wider out. They might fancy themselves with that mall, though. It's functioned really well. Yeah, they'll go to the corner again here. A little bit of cramp for the hooker. Right Zach Baird right is thrown in really well. The back. On that mall, you've got to come in from behind, not the side, as your number seven clearly did there. Sorry, 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 sorry. Number seven against him. Referee okay, just making okay, it clear <laughs> to Gus McCarthy that Tom Brake was coming in Ten there minutes, legally. And any more infringements like Time that, off. we could see action taken Time by the referee. Off. But the mall, as you said, Bernard, has been brilliant for Michaels. They've got to go for the corner and try and drive this one over. Yeah, absolutely. Look at and you'd fancy if they can if they can catch it clean, if they have the, the structure and the power to, right. to get over. It's desperate times for them. They're they're you know they're, that more they're a long way behind, they're 12 points behind now, so okay. they need two convert and tries to, to get in the lead. But if they can manage to score here. With 12 minutes left, it'll be a huge moment, but difficult for a hooker. Zach Baird, Ryan Baird's brother, he's, Time he's, is he's on. limping pretty badly with cramp, and just hopefully that doesn't affect his ability to throw here. Well, Look in it. schools matches, they're never over until the very last whistle, and this is no exception, but crucial for Michaels that they get the next score on the board. Trying to get the lineup numbers organized. Sure. Probably would have liked to be a bit closer. The ten yards out instead of five yards out. It's well taken though. Oh. Now the drive gets set. Paul Reavy, and on they go. Michaels are edging close to that line. They're already on the five that meter. Runs. Can they regroup Nine, and set runs. it up again? Two, it's at two. the back. Through Dan Carroll. Through the middle. Seven through the middle. Through the middle. It's there for gone. He's trying to reach for it. There it is. Looks like there's hands on the ground. There it is, says the referee. Now Baird. Takes that drive forward, Maloney stops him. They set up the outside again. Little victories the there. Oh, Can't man, afford to make any one. mistakes just here. In close is where they're well set up. The drive is brilliant from Blackrock, putting them backwards. They've lost ground here now, Michaels. Trying to regroup again. Can't get isolated. See Brig there just lying over the ball. And the penalty comes for that. And will the referee take more action? There's a lot of penalties coming now, Werner. No, okay. A lot of penalties coming, a lot of pressure. He's going to have a word, I think. Time is off. Penalty was against you, by the way. Yeah, I think Delu said he, ha he hasn't had a lot of time. He said he had a neck injury earlier on. He's got through a great shift, but look, I think Blackrock need a breather here. Guys. As well, but Michael's forwards had to do some out of carrying. I think you know, away, if they please. get this line out five yards out, you'd have to fancy them to be able to score. That's yeah, awesome. well, certainly they seem to be getting the setup right every single time in that lineup when they do go for the drive. Time is still we off. See time is still off. Charlie McNamee, okay. the time is way. off. Charlie McNamee is setting things up here for this line out forwards. Guys, getting organized. Enough. Keep it quiet, please. There's no play right now. <laughs> on the line, okay? Hold on, hold on. Huge moment in this game. And you feel Stay that if Blackrock can hold out at this point, the game will be theirs. But St. Michael's. Okay. Just six the meters now no from the try line with a golden opportunity, but they must get this line out right. Dave Woods has been the target man. For most of these, looks like Two he will balls. be again. Two balls. Okay, let's go. Black Rock look like they're not even going to go up. They're just going to sit down and try and drive this one back. It is Woods. Oh. They set up the drive. The ball's at the back with Zach Byrne. Now, what can they do? Heave is the call from the fans. The ball goes towards the line. Is he there? Yes, says the referee. And Zach Byrne will come up from that pile with the ball. And the score, crucially, 
And with the conversion attempt to come, Michaels are right back in this game. Yeah, what a response. Both pullbacks more have been brilliant from an attacking point of view. And once they got a second chance, once they got the ball, and more five yards out, they, they did enough. And look Thank how patient much. they are here. Look at the work. They brought on a big second row. Michael O'Reilly, <laughs> Michael O'Reilly, who's on the Leinster 18s, and he's adding a lot of power to that. Uh, but yeah, so well, so well drilled. And big kick here for Fitna Gunn. Huge kick here <coughs> for Finton Gunn. He's been impeccable in his kicking so far today. Seven points between the teams. Strikes it beautifully straight between the posts. Absolutely brilliant kick from the young scrum half, Vinton Gunn. And he drags his team right back into this game with that conversion. And just five points between the teams as we enter into the last seven minutes of this wonderful Leinster Senior Schools Cup game. Sorry, guys. Well, you just get a sense that Vinton Gunn, he loves, he loves the big pressure, the big occasion. And he's so cool and calm. Under, under pressure, he know he was let, let his forward pack get on with it there, and it, he's nailed all the kicks that have been important. More cramp here, it's a he's, he's highly intensive game. Here, okay, that's our try. Both teams, I said it to them, keep it controlled, all of you, okay? Well, the referee will have to make sure the clock is off on this anyway, so it's no wonder with the pace of this game that we are seeing cramps and injuries. Blackrock. Haven't really used their bench to any effect. Yeah, they haven't. And, you know, we saw yesterday in the, in, in the international, the bench the, at international level and in schools level can have a huge impact. And Michael's have likes of Matthew Sherwin and said Michael O'Reilly already on. And some of those have, have representative honours themselves. So it could be key in the last 10 minutes here. Well, what a festival of rugby we've been treated to here today. And when we see the success of the Irish 20s and the two wins that they've had so far and the wonderful win in France and the quality of rugby that we're seeing here today there's no doubt the future of Irish rugby is in good stead okay. in your time. six and a half minutes left in this game and Michaels have got to try and do it as Burke goes long it's taken a little bit of miscommunication but victory with a huge drive from him and now Michael really have their tails up. Referee screaming for Gus McCarthy to get away as the tackler. Big counter rook coming in. Well played by Gumbo. Manages to tidy things up. Michael's just panicking a little bit. Brilliant defense coming in from Black Rock. Now Michael's having to do it the hard way. Driving their ball from well inside their own half, just outside their 22. Gone now. We'll shift this ball back towards the Charlie McNamee. He goes for the box kick himself instead. It's a long one towards Maloney. He's there with it well. Looks up to see where there's any space. There isn't much. It's tackled well by De Klerk. Now Black Rock. Taken by Josh Brown there. The sub for St. Michael's. Come around the corner again. And Michael's defence stands firm. I'm Oliver Coffey looks to put a box kick on this one. Okay, Relieve some pressure. It's well taken though, and a space on the outside. Little dummy from McNamee. Ball is there from Gunn. Uses the forward runners. Four away. Michael's desperately trying to find some way three, three. through this Black Rock defence. They'll put Draw, up another one, kick though and try and get the chase there, going. Gunn launches a huge one. Is it a bit too far? The call. Well, it's taken well by Maloney. He goes forward. Another big tackle coming in there. Well, Black Rock have it crucially. On they go through Colerivi. He's a, it's called for a knock on in the tackle. Is it being released? The referee says it's still close. a Black Rock ball. That was a close one. Tackle, Black Rock have to be careful not to give turnover here 
and equally Michaels have to be careful not to give away the penalty. Paddy McCarthy still going forward. Gus McCarthy now, the captain for Blackrock. The physicality at this stage of the game. Yeah, with I think both sets know, of players. Absolutely, Reggie. I think if you're just a Van Stone, you want Blackrock to get down there. They'll play in that area of the field. McNamino looks to step. Runs into a lot of cover. Need to get that ball back. Well, his tired legs there. Dave Woods looks to go forward, presents it well. The ball is clean. Stay. Gone now. Definitely feels, Bernard, though, that they need to try and get more open. They're very, very tight, St. Michael's. Yeah, but I think they're trying to stick to this game plan of trying to force an error, either in the air or from the follow up kick chase. That they got a bit of reward in the first half. But Black Rocket looks down under the high ball the second half. Oh, it's taken well there by Zach Burke. Drops the shoulder, looks to go forward. And Black Rock now just want to keep this ball in possession, keep recycling it, not turn it over. Maloney goes forward again, big run from him, makes another metre. On goes the one and only Paddy McCarthy, yet again. Coffee now, moves it wide, Quirk looks to find some space. Four Scramble away. tackle comes in from Dave Don't Woods on Cooney. In. Maloney drops the head, he might race. be held up a little bit there. There's no hands, no the hands is the call from the referee. We're into the last three minutes. As Blackrock run down the clock very effectively. Now we see Oliver no, Coffey. No, He'll probably yes. put boot to ball on this one. Michael surely have to try and run this one back. Okay. Go for the corner instead. Does it stay inside? Oh, and a mistake at a crucial moment by Zach Quirk. And that's what Michaels were looking for. You said it, Bernard. Uh, that They're playing huge. that testing game. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with you there, Reggie. You think that at some stage Michaels have to throw caution to win and actually run it back, but they back their kicking game. It's a phenomenal kick from, from Nicholson, and he just gets the perfect bounce. And now they get a throw as well. And we, I mean, if they get this line out ball going again here, get another penalty and go into the corner, they could, they could sneak this game. Atmosphere here in Donnybrook is unbelievable. Everybody is on their feet. As we look around, noise, the fans are supporting. I have to say, the Black Rock fans look the most worried at the moment. Micah's fans really getting behind their team. But Reggie, we were lucky enough to go to do, do commentary on professional games. It's rare you have an atmosphere like this. I agree with you, the, the, the whole place is buzzing here in two quality outfits. Well, everybody always says to me about commentating, and your favourite games, and there's no doubt in my mind, schools rugby is right up there at the top. The atmosphere is electric, the quality of rugby is always brilliant, and it's never over until that final whistle goes. Yeah, I, I totally agree, but a huge throw here for Michael Sherwin. Matthew Sherwin has come on a hooker. Oh, and it's a poor throw. Misses Woods in the lineup, and is that Michael's chance gone? Step, guys. Step. No. Black Rock now will just look to run down this clock. They can't afford to make any mistakes. Can't afford to give away a penalty. Where's that going? That's a Black Rock penalty. Big call from the referee. Clearly called release. Dan Carl is the one penalised for it. You have to wonder, is that Michael's chance gone? Uh, you, would, you, you would think so, although the way this game is going, there might be right, go. you know, another bit of drama left in it, but just that ball overthrown, the, the line has been a very solid source of possession for them, but that gives Blackrock a chance to kick down the line, and it's going to be their throw, of course, because it's a penalty, if Kirk can get touch. OK, Blue, take the line, OK? Blue on the line. You're on the line, guys. Let's go. You have to take Michaels, have to get bodies in the air here now. They need to get a source of possession back quickly and try and get down the other half of the field. And Blackrock will just look to close this game out. Big line out, crucial throw. They go Whoa. for the banker ball with Michael oh, Colreevy at the front. And now they'll just hold four, it in tight. Four and try and run this clock down. As we see, Gritzinger move towards that pack. On they go, the Black Rock forwards. 
They'll look to get a penalty out of this. Michaels need to be careful. Kritzinger comes in, tries to crash that ball up. They need to be careful not to give away any penalties. But it's brilliant Kevin game Jackson. management, brilliant game management, Reggie, no, by Blackrock. No, no. Strong drive down the front, and now they're keeping it quite narrow. But as you said, they need to get bodies to the ball no, because no, Michaels no, will try and jackal. McCarthy now goes to ground with that one. It's a penalty on the crucial call. As you said, Bernard, they can't afford to give it away. It's one last opportunity for St. Michaels. They'll kick long for the corner, try and set up that ball again. But again, we come right down to the wire on this. The kick, does it find touch? Yes, it does. Right down to the wire on this school's cup first round game. Last play. Last play, the referee has, has just told Black Rock, so they need one more big defensive shift to, to close this game out. You'd imagine Michaels might have to go to the backs here. It's a long way to try and rely on their forwards, but can they win the ball in the line out? Carroll's at the back. They go instead. For Woods, it's taken well. They can't drive it from here, surely, but they'll certainly have a go. Blackrock trying to get organised. On go, Michaels with that drive. Use it, says the red phone now goes with. Will they go wide? They have the penalty, Reggie. Another penalty, and they will go for the corner off this one. They'll be allowed. Yeah, he got, that was the aim. They wanted to drive it. You, if they could squeeze the penalty out, and this is the last play again here, so pressure's on. More crap in the Blackrock side. They, def they put in such an effort to, to get this lead. Can they hold on? What a finish we have to this game. Everyone in the ground on the edge of their seats. they could be with this kick here you'd have to say last play they've got to get it deep into 22 but you also can't afford to to take a chance of missing and it's quite a tight angle and then you got to get the line out right pressure on McNamee to get it right he doesn't go too long you're right the pressure was on uh, brings play to just outside the 22 well it's actually a lot further out than we thought so once again, this throw has got to be right. Dave Woods has been the target every time. They go to him again, it's taken well. Now can they set this drive up? Michaels desperately trying to make their way towards that line. The drive is still there though, it looks good. Blackrock, no, they can't afford to give away another penalty. Still they go forward. The ball is there. Coogan has it in his hands. A black rock come in. The arm is out from the referee. Another penalty is coming. There'll be another chance for them to go for that line in the corner. This game has everything. Referee waits to see if anything will come of this. Gun goes outside. They have a shot to nothing. Little chip over the top. It's too far. So we'll go back for the penalty, Bernard. Yeah. I'll speak. I'll speak. One more penalty down here at the other part. I'll speak. The ball was fine. One of your players went in legally, you went in illegally around the back. It's the same One more the card says the referee. Like I think it's a bit same late for that. It should be a card already. <laughs> okay, the There's been a lot of penalties at, 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 at this part of the game. Now it's now doing the angle and a little bit closer. They're gonna get they're gonna be just wow. If they can get this catch right, Reggie, I, I think they have a great chance of scoring. Their ball has been both these balls have been exceptional. Huge pressure on Sherwin. He tr the throw jumped out to the back. They can just secure possession. It'd be so interesting to see what Black Rock can do. Woods has been the target man every time. Is he the one again? He is. They have the ball. Black Rock have dragged it down already, but Michaels have stepped out over it. Can they regroup? They go towards that line. Black Rock, it's been. The ball's been stopped, but they're going forward still. The ball's been lost forward. It's a Black Rock ball at a crucial moment. The ball just lost in possession. And with that, the final whistle goes. Black Rock go crazy. Michael's heads drop. They can't believe it. It was right down to the wire. Golden opportunity. And at the crucial moment, they just lost control of that ball. We've been given an incredible game of rugby here today. 
tries from McCarthy. Copy and McConnell mean that BlackRock have edged this one 25 points to 20. Oh. And that's all we've time for today. But we will be back on Premier Sports with live coverage of all four quarterfinals, the semi-final, and of course the final of this year's Leinster Seniors Cup. My thanks to Bernard Jackson. We'll see you next time.